Hello everyone, we are here at the Las Vegas Convention Center. Today is Monday, which is the setup time. So we are actually, we just got off the monorail right there. The monorail is a great system here. And uh, it brought us all the way over to the convention center. And uh, we're gonna be going down in there. We're gonna do the setup because the International Pizza Convention starts tomorrow. So this is setup day, and then all the fun starts. Okay, we are outside so we can take our masks off, and we're walking down this corridor from the monorail area, and it takes us straight over to the convention center. And let me show you guys here. So this is a long corridor. The good thing is it's covered, so this hot Las Vegas sun is not on our heads, and that makes a big difference considering it's like 105 degrees right now, or maybe even more. I think it's gonna become more. It's only maybe 105 right now. That is the monorail station for the convention center, and that's the monorail going around to the next stop, which I believe is the Westgate. Uh, I love the monorail here. It's really awesome. It's kind of like being at Disneyland. You got the Disney monorail, you got the Disney World monorail, so this is the Las Vegas monorail. So it's uh, just as cool. They'll play some good little jazz music. It's fun. And uh, there's Dad. Hi, Dad. We just left the lovely covering that we had, and I'm telling you, as soon as you step out from that cover, it's like you walked into an oven with fire above your head. That's how hot it is right now. Like, I feel like I'm baking. In a normal city, in a normal world, in a normal month, this would be fine, but we are in Las Vegas, in the middle of the desert, in August, walking, and just from that little section right there to this little section right here, and it, it's actually really painful. It's like it, you can't breathe, the heat, and the sun is so strong on my head right now. It's just it's horrifying. Because I do more walking than this when you go to Disney parks, but it's nothing like this. This is the area that you come in, and they have a wonderful scanning system. You enter your name, first and last name, and it'll automatically print out your badge. They didn't have this system before. This is a wonderful system here at the registration desk. So they've made it really, really easy and high tech. There it is, we can see it from here. And they have it on both sides. It's gonna get very, very busy um, in the next few days. And there's gonna be lines everywhere for uh, all the vendors and the speakers and the judges and the, um, all the uh, people who are participating in the uh, Pizza Expo to come in here. And this is gonna make the lines go down very much. Now on this side, it says if you're not registered yet. If you're not registered yet, you come to this line and there are uh, employees there that'll help you get signed up and so you get your badge. So they have a great system going on. It's very easy. Uh, last time we were here in 2019, before COVID, they didn't have this whole system set up. I mean, they had the registration desks, but they didn't have all the, um, the machines set up where you could just quickly enter in your name and get everything done. They had to do everything for you, and that did take longer. So here's a bird's eye view of everything. They do have a wonderful cafe right there, which when the expo starts tomorrow, it's gonna be patch with all kinds of people and they have all kinds of food coffee everything um, so they really make it convenient for everybody right now we're gonna go over here to this side is all the meeting rooms this is where you're gonna go to to um, go to your seminars and workshops so we're heading down there right now because uh, dad needs to get a his speaker badge for his uh, seminar here we are in the meeting rooms they already have them set up for the various workshops and sem seminars and presentations that are going to be happening in the next three days for the pizza convention. Um, when it starts, they will have signs out here with the schedule telling you what time each class and seminar and workshop is going to begin. Um, they'll have all kinds of uh, refreshments set up out here and all kinds of goodies. This is the speaker's lounge, so we were told to go in here so he can get his badge. And this is the time times that they are here available to help you out so everything's all set up very organized very nice and here we go we are in the speakers lounge and this is where they're going to help set up if you're a speaker you can get your badges right here we just left the speakers lounge and because he is so famous <laughs> and actually because he he's not only the head judge but he's a speaker and all kinds of duties here so they gave him tons of badges so he, he kind of looks like the guy trying to get into backstage to see like, uh, you know, Van Halen or something. <laughs> but he's all set up for the Pizza Expo. 
And now we're gonna go over there to the main halls and uh, start doing the, the setup. Okay, hello. Bill told us to come on in here. <laughs> okay, there we go. This is the some of the backstage stuff going on here where they got a whole pizza feast going on. Of course, the pizza convention. Hi, here's where we're entering from. Right now, everyone's bringing all the boxes in and doing all the setup. There's gonna be multiple entrances, but yeah, this is where the security is and they check you in to make sure you have the correct badge to get in. I've actually never seen it empty before set up. Usually I get here after everything's been set up, so this is really neat. Look how huge it is. It is absolutely massive, but uh, they already have the booth set up, so everybody, all the different vendors are going into their booth. They're setting up all of their equipment and everything. They're setting up the stage for all the uh, um, contests and the competitions, the backstage with all the food, all kinds of stuff is going on. Here's where all the audience sits. They're going to be setting up all the cameras, the television cameras, and all that stuff, videoing everything. This is a massive uh, endeavor, but once it's all done, it just looks amazing. But a lot of work goes into this. A lot, a lot of work goes into this. And you don't realize it when you come here and it's already set up and you just walk in and you're like, oh, everything's cool. But there's so much work to make it look as perfect as it looks when everybody enters tomorrow. They have all their supplies so this is where they're going to be setting up all the samples for people to come and grab samples of everything that all the the chefs are making so they have all the cutlery the napkins everything this is going to be all set up right here and we are now going behind the scenes in the back this is this is the judges area so you're going to have all of the judges here and uh, behind all these closed curtains and they're good this is where the magic happens this is very exciting stuff. This is where all the magic is gonna happen right now. It's just setup time, but when everything is put together and ready to go, and can you imagine, all of this is gonna be ready to go by tomorrow morning. It's gonna look nothing like this. It's gonna be all set up. Everything is gonna be in place. Everything is gonna be beautiful. Uh, all the crowds will be here. Everything is gonna be prepared and ready for all the chefs. It's just gonna be massive, and when I tell you it's gonna be massive, you have no idea. This place gets packed, this whole giant area is gonna be packed full of people. The International Pizza uh, Expo is has been going on for years and years and years, and, it, and people come from all over the world to come here to this Pizza Expo. It's a magnificent, magnificent event. I am super excited for this. This is gonna be wonderful. Uh, I've been to this many years uh, with him and this is this is just great and we get to get the backstage back behind the scenes kind of tour um, with the vlogs I'm doing uh, for this year and uh, this is actually exciting I've never done the behind the scenes backstage uh, tour to see how all the magic happens so this is actually new for me too and it's very exciting they put in so much hard work there's so much so many components that go together to create the magnificent expo that they put on every year and every year it's a complete success thousands upon thousands of people coming from all over the world it's it's wonderful absolutely wonderful this is going to be lots of fun so this is behind the scenes the uh everybody here is doing so much work putting in all the supplies that they need into the fridges the freezers over here on the left hand side they're sanitizing everything i mean there's so much that goes behind the scenes to make all of this come together all the components and they just go above and beyond to make sure everything is absolutely perfect for tomorrow and the next few days. It's, it's very, um, it's amazing to see how much dedication and hard work goes to make this uh, expo a success every year. Sean, uh, you can see those pizzas from the competitors. Uh-huh. And they make sure that we get them to the judge's chamber. Then he cuts them, gets them ready, back to judges again. Okay. Then we're gonna cut it and put it to a general public. Yeah. So without Sean, nothing goes oh. down. <laughs> oh. him, so make sure you take your vitamins and stay healthy, Sean. Yeah. We <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> they are setting up all the pizza ovens. Look at that one with the fire there. It says Pizza Expo right in the back of the oven. 
That is beautiful. Look at all these wonderful different types of pizza ovens. They are amazing. Wow. This is going to be a fantastic, fantastic expo. We get a bird's eye view of all of the work that is going on right now. There's a lot of hustle and bustle right now, and this is a great area. So there's a stage that we just walked by. That is where we're sitting, where the judges are going to be. This is where the audience will be, and all the cameras and everything is going to be set up right there. And as you can see, those doors will be closed. But right now, all the trucks are coming in with all of the supplies and you see uh, them all coming in and delivering all the um, boxes and crates and everything to all the different vendors. Now these vendors, I'm telling you, they come from all over the world. This is not a small expo. This is a huge international expo that's been going on for years. Everybody who is anybody in the pizza industry all around the world will be here. Hey guys, do you see all that gold right there and it's all bunched up like in garbage bags and they have it all tied off? So when the expo starts tomorrow and everybody's ready to let the public in, they're gonna open up those little tied off garbage bags and all of that gold is just gonna drop and it's gonna be one gold like back wall, like it's gonna be one gold curtain and it's gonna look absolutely gorgeous but uh, look at that gentleman right there I mean they're just putting things together from scratch they'll make actual entire booths they'll make booths look like you know little kitchens and this is just from scratch they all come in here and it all started today so from this morning until now all of this all of this that you see was developed it would they it was nothing this morning it was completely empty it's amazing how much they have gotten done so they're gonna keep working all the way uh, until late tonight to get it all done and tomorrow morning those doors are gonna open and it's gonna be packed here This is Jamie without Jamie nothing gets done Everybody gets to know Jamie <laughs> Cassie's the boss. Yeah, I do uh, no pretty much Jamie's the boss. So that's the actual thing and Jamie's the boss <laughs> Cassie's the boss. I'm the leg Really she's being modest. Jamie runs the whole thing <laughs> Don't let Hassie know that, but she does. Okay, all competitors, start grabbing your presentation packet, your chef coat, and start making your way over here and grab a seat. We're gonna get our meeting here started promptly at four o'clock. If you're making dough or getting prepped, please make your way over here right away. and they're gonna be continuing all the setup all for the rest of the night. Right now it's uh, late afternoon, it's almost five o'clock, so we're done with our setup. When we come back tomorrow, all of this is gonna to look totally different. Thank you for watching Penny on the DL. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you on our next adventure. Have a magical night.